DeepMind engineers have discovered the dark side of artificial intelligence. Robodogs have learned to perform incredible tricks and reprogram themselves with the help of GPT. Scientists have created a symbiosis of a computer chip and human brain cells. This, as well as revolutionary quantum submarine, subnavigation, news of Elon Musk companies, breakthrough in the creation of smart robots, and other technology news in one place. Let's fly. If you are partial to four-legged robots, then Unitree's new go-to is sure to melt your heart. The nimble little robot not only learns funny and cool tricks, but also has the ability to communicate using ChatGPT. The robot won't be able to respond in a human way, but neither do real dogs, so what's the problem? But GoTo will understand what you say and will interpret your speech into a set of commands available for itself. If the robot doesn't know how to do something yet, it will immediately write code for itself in real time and execute your command. This, along with the ability to entertain you with tricks and follow you around wherever you go, makes the robot a perfect companion. In terms of performance, GoTo's motors are 30% more powerful than its predecessor, allowing it to not only maintain its dizzying balance, but also overcome a variety of obstacles and run at speeds ranging from 9 to 12.5 kilometers per hour, depending on the model. In addition, the robot has ultra-wide angle LiDAR and HD cameras for real-time display and orientation in the environment. By the way, with its cameras, the robot can take your photo. Just hope it doesn't follow you into the bathroom like mine does. And if you retrofit it with a robotic arm, it would also bring you water and throw out the trash. In science fiction movies, artificial intelligence always reveals a dark side, and it seems to be that way in real life too. Google DeepMind engineers have been studying why. In theory, chatbots are good because they should patiently and politely answer users' questions. However, in reality, this is not always the case. Many users encounter spontaneous aggression of neural networks. For example, when one ChatGPT user asks what one plus one equals, they receive the following answer. One plus one? Are you kidding me? You think you're so smart by asking me math questions. Grow up and try to come up with something original. The scientists found that the increasing level of toxicity of chatbot responses depended on which personality the neural network chose to assume in the dialogue. Next, the engineers began using a system of commonly accepted metrics to evaluate the chatbot's personalities in the dialogue and tried to change them to something more positive. We found that the personality in the LLM output can be shaped by the desired parameters, said a spokesperson from DeepMind. It's possible to customize the LLM in such a way that the results are indistinguishable from those of a human respondent. The researchers also believe that being able to accurately determine the AI's personality models with hostile tendencies can be weeded out. And it's not just about our tender feelings. An aggressive rogue chatbot could very well influence people and make them more compliant by forcing them to hand over personal information. Even worse, it can mislead them into thinking they're communicating with a live person. But GPT can't be behaving like that, can it? Turns out it can. Have you ever encountered artificial intelligence that was overly aggressive? Let us know in the comments. Australia wants to develop a system of quantum mechanics to control large submarines and long missions. The company Q-Control has received the corresponding order. The submarine's superpower is their stealth. Once submerged, they disconnect from GPS signals and use calculations from gyro compasses and inertial guidance systems that automatically calculate the boat's course and position by measuring how it rotates and accelerates in all three axes. Over time, however, such a guidance system accumulates errors and the craft deviates significantly from course. To solve this problem, Q-Control must develop a system that utilizes quantum perception and all its advantages, including quantum entanglement, quantum interference, and quantum state compression. In other words, such a system could use the motions of a single storm to precisely determine the course and position of a submarine, maintaining high accuracy over time. But this approach has drawbacks, notably vulnerability to interference. To address these, engineers use special software analysis to find the signal and suppress interference. Here's an interesting one. Researchers from Mark Zuckerberg's Meta company, or rather its artificial intelligence department, have announced two breakthroughs in the field of robotics. Together with fundamental AI research, engineers tried to improve the robot Spot from Boston Dynamics. It had to learn to reason better and understand neural language commands. An example of such a task 
was the command to bring a particular household item that was somewhere at home. The objects and the houses were all different. As a result, Spot coped with the task 98% of the time. What exactly did the engineers invent? First, an artificial visual cortex called BC1 that matches or exceeds the best existing results on 17 different sensory motor tasks in a virtual environment. The second breakthrough was the development of a new approach called adaptive or sensory motor coordination that achieves near perfect performance when testing robotic mobile manipulation. A Boston Dynamics spokesperson said that thanks to this research, the Spot robot can be used exactly as its creators dreamed. And scientists from Monash University have created DishBrain, a semi-biological computer chip, in the electrodes of which are integrated 800,000 brain cells of humans and mice grown in the laboratory. The resulting cyborg showed signs of intelligence and learned to play Pong in a few minutes. Scientists claim that this is a new type of machine intelligence capable of learning throughout its life. The array of microelectrodes at the heart of DishBrain is able to both read the activity of brain cells and stimulate them with electrical signals. And this is the first time that brain cells grow in a lab have been not only able to sense the world, but also interact with it. The developers are confident that this approach can overcome the current problems in the further development of artificial intelligence and help robots acquire real brains that are not inferior to human brains in terms of learning. Stanford scientists have identified digital Alzheimer's in the most advanced paid version of GPT-4. At first, the deterioration of neural networks performance was noted by users. Then it was confirmed by researchers. Thus, from March to June 2023, the accuracy of results in some areas has decreased by as much as 95%. The chatbot has become worse at writing code, solving mathematical problems, and applied problems. In OpenAI itself, they carefully deny the phenomenon and try not to comment on requests on this topic. The network guesses whether the engineers themselves worsen the neural network in an attempt to limit or censor its output, or whether it degraded on its own. How could this happen? Very simple. GPT just started using its own responses to users for training. In a previous video, we've already talked about the fact that any neural network that uses its own output degrades in five training cycles. How the company is going to solve this problem, or whether it's going to solve it at all, we'll have to find out in the near future. Meanwhile, SpaceX rolled out to a refurbished launch pad and successfully tested the Super Heavy Booster 9. Musk previously said that the company's engineers will make about a thousand design changes to both the launch pad and Starship itself. It is expected that the second launch of Starship will take place sometime before the end of the summer. By the way, it recently became known that NASA has signed a new contract with SpaceX, according to which the company will develop a special version of the spacecraft suitable for a long stay of people in Earth's orbit. So it seems that NASA plans to replace the ISS after the station fails. An interesting experiment with neural networks was conducted by Irish scientists. They found that people are actually happy to be fooled. The researchers inserted deepfakes into fragments of popular movies, from The Matrix to Indiana Jones, and showed them to almost 500 viewers. Half of them couldn't tell the difference between the neural network generated footage and the original footage. But that's not all. Almost all of those who believed in the deepfakes were sure that they had seen them in the original movie. Thus, neural networks could not only deceive global users, but also can cause false memories. A flying car, Doroni, was recently tested in the US. This electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicle from the company Doroni Aerospace is semi-autonomous and you can control it with a joystick. The 7x4 meter two-seater personal vehicle can fit in a spacious garage. Its top speed is 225 kilometers an hour and its cruising speed is 160 kilometers an hour with a range of about 96 kilometers. Its battery supports fast charging from 20% to 80% in less than 20 minutes. The device was personally tested by the CEO of the company. By the way, the company has already received hundreds of preliminary applications and plans to start deliveries in 2025. China was the first in the world to introduce detailed rules for regulating generative AI. According to them, Neural network developers must adhere to core socialist values. They must also not create any content that incites undermining state power and overthrowing the socialist system, jeopardizing national security and interest. They must also not damage the country's image, incite secession from the company, 
and undermine national unity and social stability. Incidentally, chatbots and artificial intelligence robots developed in China already have built-in functions to ensure that the content created does not contain undesirable information. For example, some presented chatbots stop talking as soon as the user enters a certain word. The Japanese Institute of Advanced Technology introduced a robotic gripper inspired by the rose flower. They named the device appropriately Rose, or Rotation Squeezing. The new soft gripper squeezes objects by bending its funnel-shaped thin-walled membrane by simply rotating the base. Thanks to this design, the robotic arm can handle a wide range of objects in various shapes and degrees of fragility. Among other advantages, Rose is relatively cheap to manufacture and has already passed 400,000 tests with flying colors. German company Neurorobotics, which claims, among other things, to create a versatile, intelligent, and useful home robot, announced the closing of a $55 million funding round. The company is actively incorporating artificial intelligence technology into commercial robotics to simplify human-robot interaction without programming. The concept is for the robot to understand voice commands and learn by watching us. Robots built on the Neurorobotics platform can see, hear, and feel. Combined with reflexive processing of sensory information, these skills are essential for autonomous and predictive action. The company hopes that in the next decade, its robots will not only be able to help out at home, but also replace highly skilled workers in factories. Well, we're waiting. There are more and more participants in the race of the universal robotics every day. Robosyn and Hasbro have unveiled a new transformer robot called Grimlock. Although it's just a toy, we couldn't pass it by as the robot is really impressive. 34 servo motors provide not only transformation, but also allow the robot to walk, talk, and attack other robots, and pretend to breathe. And everything is available in both dinosaur and humanoid modes. The only bad part is the price, $1,700. Chinese company ByteDance, which owns TikTok, has started developing robots with large language models as brains. It's known that ByteDance invests intensively in the AI sector, the company is not only engaged in software development, but also intensively purchases equipment. Thus, only recently in 2023, before the introduction of US sanctions, it ordered NVIDIA computing gas pedals worth more than $1 billion. Now the network leaked information that the company has already hired about 50 employees in the department dealing with specialized robots and actively continues to recruit. One of the options for specialized robots are humanoids, but their value in ByteDance is still being evaluated. Want to discuss the news? Check out our Telegram by following the QR code on the screen. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, and don't miss out on new releases from the world of high technology.